This video is to help you familiarise yourself with the CAU telemetry system. The Combined Assessment Unit in Crosshouse Hospital has its own telemetry system. The setup is fairly unique in that each telemetry unit is linked to a portable handset which is carried by a member of nursing staff for continuous monitoring. The portable handsets display alarm text only. They do not allow medical or nursing staff to review the ECG rhythm strip. This must be done by a member of medical staff at a central monitor. There are two central monitors that collate and display all of the telemetry set readings. One of these is located in the initial assessment unit and the other is in the yellow zone within the combined assessment unit. There are approximately six telemetry sets in use within the combined assessment unit. There is some guidance available on the indications for their use. Specifically, we advise within the CAU not to use telemetry for stable patients with atrial fibrillation and a fast ventricular response. This guidance is located in a folder labelled telemetry, which is stored within the initial assessment unit. This folder also contains step-by-step -step guides on how to perform various tasks within the telemetry system. To request telemetry for a patient on CAU, you must complete a telemetry request card. This asks for the patient's details. It is very important to include the zone and bed number. The card also asks for indication for the telemetry. The requesting doctor must fill out their name and the date of the request. Whilst the patient remains on telemetry, this card should then be housed within the relevant ducat on the telemetry shelf within the initial assessment unit. The default tachycardia and bradycardia alarms in CAU are heart rate less than 50 and heart rate greater than 130 beats per minute. This is to minimise multiple alarms for mild, brady or tachycardias. The request form also prompts the requester to consider if alternative heart rate alarms might be more appropriate for that individual. For example, if the patient's normal resting heart rate is 47 beats per minute, you may wish to lower the alarm cut off slightly. This must be clearly stated on the request form and should only be considered in a small minority of patients where it is appropriate to do so. Whilst the patient is on telemetry, there are several different alarms that may be encountered. Critical alarms include asystole, extreme bradycardia, extreme tachycardia, VFib or ventricular fibrillation or VTAC or ventricular tachycardia. Generic alarms include heart rate high, heart rate low, bradycardia, tachycardia and ECG signal lost. Some of the technical alarms include ECG lead off, ECG low frequency noise and ECG signal invalid. Whilst working in CAU, you may be approached by members of the nursing staff to alert you to one of these alarms. For any critical alarms such as VT, VF, extreme bradycardia, extreme tachycardia or asystole, the nursing staff must immediately review the patient. They will consider a cardiac arrest call or urgent medical assistance if there is clinical concern. If there is no clinical concern on review, the nursing staff must still alert a member of medical staff who must review the central monitor and also perhaps the patient. This is to ensure significant transient dysrhythmias are not missed. For tachy and bradycardia alarms, the nursing staff will assess the patient 
and seek medical assistance if there is clinical concern. They should also ask for a review if there are more than two tacky or brady alarms for the same patient. This should prompt you to consider whether the alarm parameters need adjusted. Now for some basic operations on telemetry. It should be members of nursing staff that admit the patient onto the telemetry system, although clear instructions on this can also be found within the telemetry folder. I will highlight some of the other processes, but again instructions on these can be found within the telemetry folder. To review an alarm, go to the corresponding patient's telemetry screen. Click on the top left triangle at the top of the screen. From the drop down menu, click Patient Management and then click on Event Review. Highlight the specific alarm in question. You can scroll through the alarms using the up and down arrows and scroll through the rhythm strip using the left right arrows. To print a rhythm strip, simply click Print once the rhythm strip in question is on the screen. This will be printed from the printer underneath the desk in the initial assessment area. To adjust alarm parameters, again click on the triangle at the top left of the patient in question's telemetry screen. Then click on Alarm Setup. Next, click on the Arrhythmia Threshold Setup. Enter the new value in question, for example, a new bradycardia alarm cutoff. Click the return button and then press exit or OK. To discharge a patient, again start by clicking on the triangle at the top left of their screen. Then click discharge patient. Click to save data. Then finish this process by clicking OK. We ask that all doctors reviewing patients on CAU be mindful that telemetry is removed as soon as it is no longer required. When a patient is deemed fit for removal of telemetry, a member of medical staff must review all of the patient's alarms on the central monitor and sign and date the request card to indicate that these alarms have been checked. Then the card must be placed in the telemetry box and the patient must be discharged from the central monitor using the steps described before. Hopefully this has explained how telemetry within CAU works. If there are any questions following this session, please let one of the CAU consultants or senior nursing staff know. This video should be available for you to watch again if need be, but you can also find most of the information within the telemetry folder within the initial assessment unit. Thank you.